All right, so welcome back. Now it's time to play some with the back end uh, and make things happen. So I don't know if you actually did it or not, but if you click on, uh, so our local host edit, uh, let's say I, I'll edit this first one and then I'll just add some more text here. Um, it's just gonna say, insert quote, what are you talking about, right? So that's expected. So the reason it does that is of course that on the back end, uh, we only have a path for add quote and we switched our the action on our form to say insert quote um, and we switched to insert because this is going to now do add and edit and I like to use the word insert uh, to mean it does both so instead of making it say add quote action I'm just going to change it to say insert uh, quote action and I'm going to make it um, say it not only here but also up here uh, because it's got a match um, and then at this point, it would run, so I could start using it again. So if you come back in here um, and you edit one of these guys, um, you can edit it, but it's gonna really do another add. And so if I click on edit quote, uh, you know it would hopefully do that, but it's gonna really just add and add and add. And that's because with the code in there, it just always is doing an add. So what we wanna do is we wanna split uh, and we wanna do something different. Uh, looks like I've got an old log message from before in here. I don't need that anymore. And what we're going to do is we're going to say if self.request get the entity key. So if there is an entity key, then we're going to go down one path. Um, and then if there's not an entity key, then we're going to go down kind of a different path. So I'm going to go ahead and tab that guy over. And so what I want to do here is if there was an entity key, um, what I want to do is I want to create a, a key out of the URL safe version. So let's go ahead and look at that. So we're gonna type it first. So we're gonna say the key is equal to ndb.key where URL safe is equal to um, this guy right here. I guess I could have saved it off to a variable, uh, but I'll just do it this way. And so what this is gonna do is that's gonna take that URL safe version of it um, and convert it to an actual key and if you're curious, you can actually just do some logging on these things. So URL safe version equals this. So that was the URL safe version. And then if you wanted to, you could actually do some more logging. Oops, looks like I forgot the letter O. And then the string representation of real key. And the real key, if you want it to kind of print out as a string, uh, you should surround it by str. It's like I've got to go add my letter O there. So obviously it doesn't do anything yet, but I could, uh, could go ahead and see a printout of what these two things look like. What the heck, I will. So I'm going to say edit. Um, and so this, you know, does nothing. So this won't get won't get saved. Uh, I just want to look at the logs. So if I click on edit quote, uh, you can see that it doesn't show up. That's because we're not doing anything in the code. I just wanted to go see the log messages. I'm going to snap it into the bottom here just so I can see the log messages easier. So the URL safe version, you can see kind of looked like this, right? So it was a um, base64 encoded representation of the key, right? And it just, it looks like gibberish. It's got uppercase, lowercase, numbers, hyphens and underscores that makes 64 total characters and it just encodes it so you can pass it around the actual key itself though um, I mean if you were to print it it tries to show you a better representation of the key what a key really is is a combination of what kind it is what its ID is and all of its parents um, so you can see that in this situation um, its kind is is movie quotes its ID, it got a randomly assigned ID, and then it also has a parent, um, which is if you remember, we, we did this parent key, it happens to be on my screen, um, of entity and movie quote root. And if you remember, the reason we did that parent thing was for strong consistency. So I just printed those things out just so you can kind of see what's the difference between a URL safe entity key um, and then the, the actual key itself, if you printed it out as a string. So let's go ahead and do something with it. Uh, you can keep your logs or you get rid of your logs. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, I'm going to get rid of my logs. I just wanted to see them, and they've now served their purpose. The next thing we want to do, now that we've got a key, I want to get the actual movie quote uh, from that key. 
So with a key, you can call function get. Uh, this will actually do a pull from the data store. Um, that does take a little while, but since it's coming from a key, it's, it's faster than a query um, and certainly faster than a put. And then what I want to do once I've got that guy out is I want to um, update his quote property. And it's just going to be um, to whatever got passed in. And then I also want to update the movie property to whatever got passed in for movie. Once I've done that, I've updated the local variable, right? And the local variable is great, but it doesn't really mean anything at all until you put it into the data store. Um, all right, so with those lines, we've actually done a lot. Um, it should work now. You'll notice we didn't have to reset the parent on it because the parent should already be set correctly. Um, we also didn't touch that last touch date time because if you review how that worked, uh, that was automatically going to get updated for us. All right. Now we should be cooking with gas. So let's go ahead and edit one of these guys. So I'm going to update pretend iPhone uh, just so I can watch it snap to the top. Pretend iPhone, my iOS movie. I'm just going to add the word title to it just so I can easily identify it. And then I'm going to click edit quote. And you can see that once it refreshes, uh, it now pops to the top uh, with the edited title. Um, and then you can see it's gone from below. So that shows that it was not another ad. Um, it was actually a genuine edit. Um, so we've done it. Uh, so the edit feature is now done. Took a little bit. Uh, you can see it was a lot more work on the client side actually uh, than the back end because the back end all we really needed to do was just uh, split uh, based on whether it was an, a new one or an edited one, uh, modify uh, the values, and then put it back to the data store. That's it. All right. See you next time when we learn more about deletes.